A nationwide protest against Islamophobia was initially banned by the French government, but thousands turned out in Paris despite the risk of facing judicial intimidation. Dozens of organizations marched in Paris against Islamophobia and racism, as Israel's genocide and ethnic cleansing have increased state-sponsored repression against Europe's largest Muslim community. A major theme of the march was protecting children. Since October 7, 2003, children as young as 10 years old had been charged with so-called apology for terrorism, while a child of eight was falsely targeted for praying during recess. Such scandals have many saying that non-white children are no longer being treated like children but as suspected fanatics, delinquents and full-grown adults. As France is accused of targeting Muslim children at home, the French elite are giving military and political cover to Israel's mass murder in Gaza of an estimated 15,000 children and the orphaning of some 20,000 others. A decade ago, during another Israeli invasion of Gaza, France became the first country to ever ban pro-Palestinian demonstrations. They banned pro-Palestinian demonstrations for a whole month after the October 7th counterattack on Hamas, handing out hundreds of thousands of euros in fines and making mass arrests. Police initially banned this march, claiming it was a threat to public order and possibly anti-Semitic. However, it was overturned at the last moment. Many contend that the effort is proof of a long-running double standard against non-whites and non-Jews. As was the case following the two-year state of emergency France declared in November 2015, many have been shocked by the lack of outcry at this latest targeting of the Muslim community, despite perpetual bragging of being the alleged birthplace of human rights. After seven months, the United Nations Human Rights Council, finally, took a position on the horrific invasion, calling for a halt in all arms sales to Israel and for Israel to be held accountable for possible war crimes and crimes against humanity. Israel has killed over 43,000 people and wounded 98,000 others in Gaza, the West Bank and Lebanon. Famine is affecting half of Gaza's 2.5 million people, while around two-thirds of the nation's buildings have been reduced to rubble. Report by Press TV's website.